Last Friday, I, 34 female, spent my evening with my friend Kate, who's 24, from work as she wanted to discuss something personal with me. I didn't think anything of it as we do have a very personal relationship outside of work as well. As soon as I arrived to her place, the tension in the air was thick. She explained that she wanted to discuss a serious matter with me, but that she didn't know how to go about it. I told her to just rip the bayonet off and tell me. She told me that she had found two recordings of a woman that she believed to be me on a pornographic website. I told her that wouldn't be possible, but she was adamant that I was the woman in the recording. And she was right. I've never recorded myself naked or having sex with my husband, but there I was in two recordings of seven minutes and four minutes, both of them recorded in our old bedroom. As I rewatched every second of it, it starts to dawn on me that this was my husband's doing. But I pushed that deep down because there must be a reasonable explanation for this. Honestly, I left her a place with my mind in complete meltdown. I could barely hear what she was saying, but she did follow up with the text saying that she's been in contact with the website about getting it taken down and that she'll help me go through with this. She also said that she's scouring the internet in case there are more out there. I came home and pretty much ransacked my house looking for evidence and I found it. My husband was using hidden spy cameras to spy on me and record me in my most intimate moments. I then just spent hours vomiting, crying, projectile vomiting some more, and then begging God just to let this be a nightmare. I am deeply religious and a full veiled Muslim woman and I've never been with anyone but my husband and all this time he's been sharing my most intimate moments with the world. All I do is look up how other people have dealt with getting these things removed and it seems like once it's on the internet, it really is there forever even if I remove it from this one website. I've been crying nonstop. He truly must be something demonic as he's right now talking about ordering in some of my favorites to see if I have an appetite since I haven't been eating well. I left him as I said I would. He went to work. The movers arrived, we packed my stuff and we left. The entire time I was crying to the point that even the movers were worried about me, but I couldn't stop myself from crying. I went home, sat my parents and siblings down, and explained the situation. My parents were and still are confused. They are elderly and fragile. They don't understand the internet. They just kept saying, okay, let's talk to the people and it will be gone. But my siblings understand. They are angry. They're sad and heartbroken on my behalf. My siblings and brother-in-laws took me home. We waited for him and we all had a conversation with him. He denied it at first, so my brothers were firm with him and he started being more truthful. He said he did it because he was depressed, because he had a porn addiction, sex addiction, and because he didn't think anyone would see it. He said he only posted a few. When we asked him to be specific, he said that he posted anything from 5 to 8. We had him take it down, but who knows how many times it has been downloaded or shared. In that moment, I also found out that he had a secret phone. He was also cheating on me with random women and sex workers. All this time, I was thinking he's working hard, but nope. He was out disgracing himself and betraying our marriage. At some point, he convinced us that he needed to use a bathroom and he somehow managed to call his mother, who arrived at our home with his brothers and cousins. There was a commotion as they were angry at the treatment of their family member. Then things calmed down enough to explain to them what he had done. His mother fainted. His mother is elderly and not in the greatest health condition. We called for an ambulance. My neighbor also called the police and I was arrested by the time the ambulance arrived to take care of my mother-in-law.